In this video, we'll see how to create a background for this user form. How do you add some images to it and how do you make it much more interesting? Let us see that. Now, I'm in the same file Excel VBA user forms. I'll first go to developer tab, click on this visual basic. So I have already created seven user forms. Let's see the eighth form insert user form. I'll just maximize so I can get maximum space. Now, if I execute this, if I run this, I'm getting a blank boring screen, which has nothing at it, no color. If I want to put a background, let's say company background or I say company logo, anything so I can put it. So I'll just click on close. So what I can do is I'll just keep select this user form and I'll just go down instead of alphabetic. I'm in the categorized. Okay. In the categorized option. In the categorized option, if I go down somewhere, I can get a picture. This picture section we have. Now in this first thing, if you see, there's a picture which is given as none. Okay. If I click on that place, I get a three dots. If I click on that three dots, it will ask me to browse the image. Do you have an image kept somewhere? I'll say yes. I have an image that is named as image two. I'll just click on that place. Click on open. So wherever you have the image, browse that image. You remember how do I browse it? Just go to this categorized. Then you have to go to the picture. Then you have to click on this three dots. Then I'll click on this image too and I'll click on OK. Now, if you see, instead of giving that boring background, you have the company logo. You can adjust it accordingly. So if I just maximize this, I can just adjust it so it can see dot com. I can just minimize the height. OK, I'll minimize from here. So now, yeah, this way. All right. So this is how I can get when I execute. Now you can understand the difference, which one is better, the previous one or the this one. So you get a company background. The, the message is loud that you are displaying the company logo at the back end. So I'll just click on this close button and then you can work in the same manner, drawing the text box, drawing the checkbox and buttons. Everything would be the same thing, right? Let us try to play with it. Some more thing. Now, after the picture button, I can just, yeah, I'll just scroll down the picture button. Then you can align the picture on left and right. How do you align it? I'll just first expand this this way so I can get maximum space to play with it. Now, yeah, first I'll, yeah, difficult. Yeah. So I'll go down now at this place. If you see there's a picture alignment and if I select that picture alignment from here, if I say zero, it comes on the left hand side. If I select some other number, let's say if I say as four, it will go on the right hand side bottom. So this numbers will indicate the position of your picture with respect to user form. Which position do you want? If you want in the center, you see there's an option given as center, the picture number two. Now it will be in the middle position itself, center place. It will not go anywhere. Then finally, let us see the next part. We have the picture size model. There are different sizes which you can select. But the interesting thing is in this picture tiling, so picture tiling they have given as false. If you select picture tiling as the true thing, what will happen is whatever the space is left empty, this space is left empty. They will try to fill with the same picture. If you see this space was left empty. Still, if you want to just minimize or maximize like this, you see the picture. Okay, I'll try to minimize from here. You can see at the back end. This window, I'll just close it. Yeah. If you see the three pictures have come here. If I try to do it, it will take the maximum space, whatever it can acquire. Okay. And uh, I'll just go down here. I'll see as picture size mode, which I'll see as two. Okay. Now, if you see, it has taken the entire picture itself. It is not taking more than two. So, but if you, if you say, I want more than one picture, picture size mode, if I say zero, now if you see, if you see, I'm getting more than one picture itself. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use the maximum space, wherever the space is left, I'll use the same thing with the picture itself. So that is nothing but giving a background. Now, sometimes you do not want a background. Okay. You want something, a side picture. How do you get it? Now, first thing is I'll remove this bitmap. I'll just click on this place. Okay. I'll click on this cancel. I'll put a backspace here. Yeah, now it is gone. So if you just click on this place and put a backspace, everything will go. Now, if you want a picture on this place, okay, not the entire background, but some picture in this place. So I'll just show you here. I'll bring the toolbox at this place. 
and this is the image icon the last icon i'll just keep the cursor there this one that is the image icon so i'll just click on that image icon and i can now draw it some some small portion over it yeah this portion now this portion if you want to add an image the same method select that go to go, go to this properties window in that you can go to this categorized and in the picture section you have this as given as none again you have to click on that three dots and then you have you'll get a dialog box it will ask which image do you want to capture so i'll say i want this image click on ok now if you see that's the image which i've got it okay and you can put on the side side place you can just put it so you'll get something uh, some idea about the company logo or something like that so right now we are learning about excel vba so you can give information about excel vba and that the image will be displayed itself even if you don't want it do the same thing keep your cursor at this place put a backspace or you can just delete just you put a delete and it will go away right so i hope you able to understand how do you add a background image to user form and also add an image apart from background only a small portion of your user form that's all for this video